obviously fighting in the UFC has takes its toll. Um, you know, it gives you a little bit of uh, anxiety, um, depression, I think. But it helps with it, though. Um, when in saying that, I before you're about to come out in front of millions of people, you kind of uh, um, you, get, you get a bit of anxiety. You get the bubbles in your stomach. But uh, um, I dealt with uh, um, a lot of mental health throughout my career, anyway. So and throughout my whole career, uh, you know, growing up. So more a lot of, I used to do a lot of visualization. Um, nothing like the brain wellness stuff that I was doing. Um, more kind of worst case scenarios, 10, 10 minutes before I go to bed, um, thinking about um, things that might happen in, in, in the fight. Um, it's something that, a technique that I got from the Russians um, that uh, they do a lot of, um, but uh, I find it now, um, I wish I did brain wellness before, when, I was, when I was competing, because I, I don't know where would I, I would have been, you know, maybe the UFC champ, but um, I'm doing it now, so it's, it's, it's yeah, mm -hmm. never too late. I think it's important, um, really important for people to look after their mental health. Um, you know, and um, you know, massive. Um, you know, when it comes to advocate, being an advocate for mental health, you know, with especially physical fitness side of it as well. Um, there's a direct link, link from physical fitness and mental health and on the benefits from it. So um, I think um, not only that, um, if you can get your mind right, right and, and set, um, you know, the sky's the limit. Um, you can do so much for, you know, so much exercise and um, you can exercise every day if you wanted to. You still get the benefits from it. Um, you know, increases brain serotonin, increases liver endorphins when you do it. But um, if your mind's not 100%, then um, and I find it with this brain wellness, and this is not getting paid to do, to do this, but I'm just saying that it's helped me. Um, and um, and if I can get it out there. The message out there to do this program it's awesome um people won't know what hit them and so this is really good oh c clear um not so muddled up um and definitely in a positive um positive way a bit skeptical at the start but uh obviously as you do with a lot of things um but a, a lot of people have come through um the program um, that I've sent and, and it's done wonders um, for them. So, so um, I thought I'll give it a go. Obviously, fighting in the UFC, you, you've been you're drawn into that. Uh, you know, um, uh, for myself, I couldn't reach out, talk to my coaches. Hey, coach, I've, I, you know, I'm dealing with a few things that uh, I'm not well today, or, or, or I can't get out of bed. Um, because I was afraid of that, uh, the, the kind of comments that uh, that fuel that stigma. So, um, you know, stepping out and kind of, uh, you know, competing in one of the toughest sports in the world, you know, the UFC, um, where you're two people, you know, hopping to an octagon and and and, and the gate um, closes. So it's, um, you know, we're supposed to be these modern day gladiators. But uh, if I can do it, you know, any, anyone else can kind of hop in there and. Um, well, anyone else can talk. Not hop in there. Not everyone's going to be a UFC fighter, but you know, everyone can. You can hop in there and, and um, you can talk.